New technology is so important when it comes to farming and ranching. After all, new technology means the best products for consumers when it comes to food and fiber for your home. So where do farmers and ranches go when they're looking for the latest and the greatest new products? They come to the World Ag Expo in Tulare, California, the largest agricultural show in the world. Call it a theme park for farming techniques and technology. The World Ag Expo draws visitors from 67 countries. And on this very wet Monday morning, the thunderstorms seemed in sync with some farming waterworks. The fruit that comes in from the field uh, uh, may have inherent decay on it, uh, may have been picked off the ground. So when they, the fruit is washed and cleaned in the packing house, but that doesn't take care of the bin. So what they want to do is be able to sanitize this bin so when it goes back in the field, we know it's clean. What does that mean for consumers? It means another a line of a sanitation that's going to help keep their food uh, you know, safer before it gets to their tables. You won't find rides for the 100,000 plus visitors who show up. You will see high-tech tree trimmers that look like something out of a science fiction movie or your choice of tractors, combines, and other equipment. It's not quite your grandfather's farming, huh? It isn't. Uh, it's really changed, and it, it's kind of neat when you talk to your grandfather and your father, and they've seen it. I mean, they actually went from the horse and buggy to a tractor operating by themselves. I mean, if you look at it, the, the satellite guidance, and that's what we're seeing now. But not everyone here has plans to use these new technologies in farming operations. Rebecca Bogdanich and her family have attended for more than a decade, interested in the changing face and changing demands of farmers today. I think that in farming, it's really important to be able to provide food for our community and our nation. And so innovation is helping to improve our products, improve our treatment of things, and improve how we treat the environment so that we can farm for people. We came a long way in the last uh, you know, century, and we're gonna go a long way in the next century of, of what we're able to do. Because basically, it comes down to harvesting the sunlight. If we can harvest that energy and turn it into a liquid fuel, some type of fuel, we will, you know, literally the farmer will feed and fuel the world.